Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Kim and it's Way In Wednesday. I am coming to you with another loss. I lost 0.6, making my total pounds lost 112.8. So that makes five, five, five weeks in a row with a loss. Like I said, I don't care how small it is, they all add up. And I am down to 204.8 pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, so, so exciting. So I had a tough week mentally and I, I had a light bulb moment before and I figured out why. So you know I wasn't feeling well last week. Well, every night I was having NyQuil. So as I'm drinking the NyQuil, I'm like, wow, this stuff is like drinking pure sugar. It's just so sweet because I'm not, you know, really eating sugary things. And I looked it up. One serving of NyQuil is five smart points, and I think it has 19 or 13 grams of sugar. And Saturday night, I didn't take it, and Sunday, I was just craving sugar so bad. And I ended up getting into the Halloween bowl, which hasn't even tempted me. I mean, I was eating gobstoppers, and I don't even know what else sugar candy that like I never eat. And I just thought it was because my periods come in and hormones and cravings, but I was looking at pictures from last week and I was like, oh my gosh, it was the sugar from the NyQuil that just like got me back addicted to sugar and I was craving it so hard. So Sunday I ate all that sugar and then Monday I was like detoxing. I was like, my body was like an addict, like wanting sugar. But I fought it so hard. I was like, no, I addressed it, I dealt with it, I tried to keep myself busy, and I got through it. So I'm so happy about that, and I was so happy to have a loss this morning, and it just kicked off my holiday in a great way. So I actually need to ask my friend, Biz, if you're watching, look out for a message from me. I want to ask anybody out there know if they make a sugar-free alternative to NyQuil because I am so sugar sensitive. Having PCOS and being insulin resistant, like sugar, like pure sugar just like messes with me totally. So I had such a cool non-scale victory or NSV as they like to call it. My daughter and I went to Disney on Ice Saturday night and I sat in that seat so comfortably, wasn't intruding on my neighbor next to me, and it was just such a nice feeling to not be concerned about my space and affecting my neighbor, because in the past, I'd kind of be like spilling out into the seats next to me, and when you're that large, over 300 pounds, you're very hyper aware of how much space you take up in the world, and you don't want to bother anybody, you don't want to affect anybody because, you know, God forbid, they, they think you're fat or, or say you're fat or have any type of issue. But that was always like my biggest problem. Like I would even be scared to go to the bathroom because I wouldn't want to have to ask people to get up and have to move past people being so big. So it was so nice to go to Disney on Ice with my daughter, have no cares, just be free from all that, you know, thinking about myself and my size and my weight and I know people that you know are in the shoes that I was in can relate because it's just it's such a hard thing to be constantly aware of your size and how you affect people and I'm just so so happy to be free from that and I felt fabulous I was wearing a winter white tunic um, with bell sleeves and leggings and boots I'm gonna put in a picture right now Disney on ice, you know, let me wear uh, some winter white, of course. Elsa was there and we had to sing Let It Go. And I curled my hair. That's my new curling iron that I got for my last five pound milestone. I was feeling good, y'all. So I wanted to mention two things that really, really helped me get through parties. And if this can help you through Thanksgiving or the holidays, I want to share it with you. So I got these two nuggets from Jane the Mucho Mama. She has a channel on YouTube. I will link her down below. This is something her leader says, but it just has stuck with me so much. So we were going to Chuck E. Cheese for a birthday party. 
The night before, I had already had my planned indulgence of uh, cheeseburger and french fries. So all my weeklies were gone. So I did not want the pizza. I did not want the cake. And how I get through it is I tell myself, I know what that tastes like. I know what Chuck E. Cheese pizza tastes like. I know what their cake tastes like. And honestly, it's not that great. You know, it's just okay. I'm from New York, so we have amazing pizza. So it's not like I was missing out. But if I tell myself, I know what that tastes like, I, I feel like I'm not missing out because I don't like to feel deprived. I wanna feel like I'm in control. I make the choices, I'm in control what I eat. So when I tell myself, I know what that tastes like, it really does help. And maybe that'll help you tomorrow. If there's something, of course, indulge, you know, special desserts that you only have once a year, enjoy yourself. That's what the holiday is for. But stuff you can have anytime, tell yourself, I know what that tastes like, I can have that another day. Because remember, you can have anything that you want, just not all at the same time. The second thing I like to tell myself is, that's for them, that's not for me. You can take that any way that you want it. If you see maybe someone who's not living a healthy lifestyle, or is just not trying to eat healthy, you just tell yourself, that's for them, that's not for me. And that helps me so much when I'm in a situation where there's like a ton of food and I'm just like, no, you know what? The fruit is for me, the veggies are for me, the healthy proteins are for me. And it kind of just gives me a reality check of how I want to honor my body and what I want to put into it. So does everybody have their game plan ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow? I hope so. Last week I kind of talked about Thanksgiving and I had linked to my Thanksgiving video. If you missed it, I will put that down below. It has all the smart point values of all the Thanksgiving meals and some tips for Thanksgiving. So check that out if you want to be prepared and go in tomorrow with a game plan. Like I said, I will be pre-tracking, actually already started pre-tracking, and I'm giving myself permission to eat whatever I want. There's no restrictions, but I will remind myself how I feel when I eat too much and feel like a stuffed turkey. And I'm gonna be mindful, and I'm gonna enjoy, and I'm gonna focus on family, and I am so excited. Whether you track, stay within your points, which that is like super hard, and. I don't recommend that because you don't want to be deprived enjoy the holiday but track be mindful and even if you don't track that's fine too sometimes we all need a break the beauty of Weight Watchers is we need to work the plan however it works best for us but regardless of all that if you track or don't track wake up Friday morning and continue on with your program have a healthy breakfast track everything on Friday and get the ball rolling to continue on. Speaking of Friday, we are going to New Jersey to the Polar Express. So we're checking out this awesome Polar Express train ride in Whippany, New Jersey. So that's actually going to be hard. We are staying overnight. So I'm like going to have another day of eating out, but I already know where I'm going to eat. I already looked at the menu online. I already know I'm going to be sharing a sandwich with my mom. Yes, mom, we're sharing a sandwich. Hope, you, hope you're going to like it. And I just plan, 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 plan. That is the key to my success. This week's subscriber question of the week comes from Femi Girls. She says, what has been your one go-to food throughout your entire weight loss? Great question. Thank you so much. I thought about it for a minute. Then I was like, eggs. Eggs have been my go-to this entire time. I eat eggs 99% of the time, every night, the night before weigh-in. I have them as snacks, I eat hard-boiled eggs, I love egg whites, egg white wraps, sandwiches on Western bagels, I mean, eggs. And my cholesterol is amazing, so that is my go-to. Thank you so much for your question. If anyone has a comment, a question for me, please put it down in the comments below. And what is your go-to? What has been your go-to on your weight loss journey? I would love to hear. Something exciting, me and Cherie from The Motivated Muffins are gonna be doing a New Year's collab, kinda like looking past at our year, talking about the year ahead. So if you are a weight loss YouTuber who has a weight loss channel, it doesn't have to be Weight Watchers, it could be 
any type of program that you're on and you would like to join the collab, just comment to this video and I'll shoot you a message so we can collaborate. Also wanted to mention Ebates. This is my actual Ebates check that I received this month. I pretty much get one every month. It's a free service. You go to the site, you sign up, and it's kind of like a portal. Like you go there before you buy anything online and you get cash back. When I, before I knew about this years ago, I thought it was a scam. I'm like, really? They're gonna send me money for shopping? But no, they really do. You get a percentage, different stores have different percentages, and you get a percentage in cash back. They have an app that you can use, and then like a Google Chrome thing that you can install, and then it'll tell you when you're on the site, like, oh, hey, activate cash back. So I have a referral code, use that for all your holiday shopping, and you'll get cash back on per purchases. It's awesome. Yesterday, I posted a meal and snack ideas video. I will also link that down below. Thank you so much for watching my video today, guys. I am thankful for all of you and all your support. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful holiday tomorrow with your family and friends. And as always, stay fit and fabulous. Bye.